Here's another great video brought to you by Brayton Energy Canada. For more information, please visit www.energyconsultingadvice.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. The world is using energy like it is nothing. We are currently consuming over 500,000 megajoules of energy per year. And even worse, the energy we are using is coming from fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are non-renewable or depleting source of energy that is terrible to the environment. One proposal we have for alternative energy sources is solar power, or energy that comes from the sun. When sunlight hits solar panels, it can be converted into electricity for homes or anything that needs it. Although the panels can be expensive, the process is quite simple, as you can see, and in the end, it pays off. Right now, solar energy is being massively used for small things such as streetlights and speed trackers. Solar panels have also been fitted onto homes in areas that have a lot of sun and can gather enough energy to run at least some of the house electricity. There are cars that have been custom fitted with solar panels, but most of these are made individually and are not mass produced. But we are hoping that in the near future, solar cars like this will be used by the majority of the public. A different alternative is wind energy. As another renewable energy source, it is very beneficial to the world. The wind turbine can move a generator to create energy without harming the environment. As wind turns large turbines, it works a generator in the box behind it. This creates electricity which is transmitted through wires to power anything necessary. Although some might consider these structures ugly and not harmonizing to the landscape, others deem them majestic as the wind turns these beautiful pieces of art. Wind power is currently used to generate power for many lighthouses, which is great use for them because since lighthouses are typically on points, there is a lot of wind to create energy. Although wind turbines don't generate as much power as fossil fuels, and there are conditions under which you must live to use them, optimistically we will use them to power homes and buildings in upcoming generations. The final source of alternative energy is hydropower, also known as hydroelectricity which is electricity generated by moving water. As you probably know, movement is a type of energy. Well, water moves fast and strong, therefore creating a lot of energy. The use of water as a tool for human needs has come a very long way since the days of water mills turning gears to make clothing. It is now a process including turbines, generators, powerhouses, and dams. The water goes through the dams, splits it, spins a turbine, causing the generator to make electricity, and then comes out the other side of the dam and flows back into the river. As you can see here, the water coming out of the dam has a lot of force, which is where the creators of hydroelectricity came up with the idea for it. It is a very stunning sight and attracts many people to see it in action. Hydroelectricity is already being used in many places as a main source of energy. This source isn't taken for granted like some of the other alternatives are. If technology can prove itself up to the task, then maybe we will one day have a small hydro dam locally that supply power to smaller areas.